All right, so this video is going to be really, really interesting because we're gonna learn how to create a dynamic filter in Excel. Now in this filter, you can search for something and Excel will automatically filter data for you. So make sure to watch this video till the end. And now let's get started. All right, so let me start off with showing you how this dynamic filter actually works. So in this text box, which is like a search bar, I'm gonna type anything, let's say CA, and it instantly filters data where I have the letters CA in my data, the country column. So in Canada, I have CA at the starting and in South Africa, I have CA at the very end. And along with that, I also have a dynamic filter, which is exactly same, but works on a different principle. And it only consider the starting of the letters. If CA is at the end or in the middle of the country name it will not filter it it will only start searching from the starting of the name now in this video as i said we're going to learn to create both of these dynamic filters one by one all right so let's move to our raw data and here first thing that i need to do is i need to have the developer tab in my ribbon as i already have the developer tab but if you don't have it you need to go to the file tab and then click on options and from options you need to go to customize ribbon and here in this list you need to tick mark the developer and the moment you tick mark and then click ok you will get your developer tab on your ribbon and now from the developer tab in the controls group you need to click on insert and from there in the active x controls you have this text box that you need to insert in your worksheet so i'm going to click on it and it gives me this small plus cursor that helps me to draw this text box within my worksheet. And here I have my text box that I'm gonna use. All right, so now the next thing is to connect this text box with the cell so that you can use that value that you type within this text box and use that value with the formula. So for this, I'm gonna double click on my text box and it will open the Visual Basic Editor. Or you can also right click on it and then go to view code now in the visual basic editor you have this properties window for the text box and in this properties window you need to scroll down and then go to this linked cell option and if you don't have this properties window you can go to view and then click on properties window to show this window at the left side of your screen now coming back to my linked cell option i need to enter the address of the cell. So in my case, I'm gonna use C1. And after that, I'm gonna close my Visual Basic Editor. Now, you have the text box, you have connected your text box with the cell. The next thing is to disable the design mode. If you go to the developer tab, and you can see the design mode button is still on. So you need to click on it to turn it off. And now your text box is out of the design mode. So you can use it, you can type into it and it will show that value in the cell C1. Let's say if I, now you can see the value that I'm typing within the text box is also getting here in the cell C1. Now the next thing is to write a formula that can get data from this table using the value that I have in the cell C1. Now for this, I'm gonna use the filter function and along with that, I need to combine the search function and is number function. So first of all, I'll enter the filter function here, filter, and then I'm gonna select the data and that is from cell A2 to B104. Now, in the second argument of filter function that is called include, which is like a condition to filter the data, I'm gonna use two functions. And these functions are isNumber and search. So first of all, I'll enter the isNumber function Within the isNumber, I'm gonna use the search functions. So search function, the idea of using search function is to search for the value that we have in the C1 cell within the country column. So I'll select the value from cell C1, that is the find text. And within text, I'm gonna select the entire column. 
the entire range of A12, A104. Now mind you, you need to understand one thing here when you're using filter function. Filter function is basically a dynamic array function that returns an entire array in, in the result instead of a single value. So in that case, because we're using the entire range in the single function, so we can get an entire data in return. So I'll show you this thing ahead. So let me close the search function and then close the is number function. Now in the third argument of filter function, I have this option to specify if there is no value matching with the search that I have made in the text box, if I want to have anything in return. So let's say if I want to have this value that says no entry found. Now our formula is ready. All I need to do is hit enter to get the result. And you can see the data I have returned from this formula is basically have the word united in the country column. So let's say if I type CA, it again gives me Canada and South Africa. So it's, if I go with IN, so it returns me all the country names where the letter IN is there. All right, so let me quickly show you how this formula actually works. Now, when you use the filter function, which is a dynamic array function, it returns an entire array in the result instead of a single cell. So when you specify A2 to B14, the range A2 to B14, it used that range as a source data. And then we have this is number and search function to create a condition to filter data. So in the search function, we are referring to the cell C1, which is basically linked to our text box. And in the, and in the within text argument, we are defining this column A1 to A104. So let me show you what is happening behind the scenes in this search formula. So you can see here we have an entire array where we have value error and in some of the values we have a number. So this number is basically the position of these two letters within the value. So if you go down and see in India we have the IN at the starting and in that case we have the starting position number that is one. But in some values that these two letters are starting from the second position and that is why we have two and in some values the position of the letters is four or seven and for all the values where these two letters are not there we have the value error and then using the array from the search function is number convert this array into true and false so if you have a number a starting position in the array for a value it returns true otherwise false so you can see here we have false, 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 but where we have the number, we, where we have the position number, we have true. And using this array for all the true values, the filter function returns the data. So if I change this from CA, you can see here we have only six entries, two countries, but six entries. And now if I edit this formula, you can see we'll have only You can see here 1, 1, 1 and 11, 11, 11. That means we have only six entries where the condition, where the letters CA are there. And again, the is number convert this array into true and false. And then the filter function using that same array and returning data for you. So this is how this dynamic filtration works. And if you type anything which is not there in any of the country name, it will return the value you have specified for that. No entry found. So this is how this dynamic filtration works. And the basic idea of this dynamic filtration is that when you type anything in your text box, it will go to each country name and check if those letters are there or not, irrespective the position of the letters. Now in the next part of this video, we're going to learn how we can create a dynamic filtration using the exact same method, but a different formula that can consider only the starting position of the name of the countries. All right, so now it's time to create our second version of dynamic filtration. And for this, again, I'm going to use the filter function. I'm going to specify the source data in the first argument. 
and then in the second argument which is include i'm going to use the left function that allows you to extract characters from the left side of any of the strings so let's say if you want to extract first two digits let's say u n so you can specify the value here and then you can specify the number of characters so first of all i'm going to specify the entire array here and then i'm going to specify the number of characters so now for the number of characters i'm going to use the length function that is that means the length of uh, characters so instead of entering a hard value i'm going to specify the value from cell c1 and now i'm going to close the left function and length function and here i'm going to create a condition and for this condition i am going to specify the value in the cell c1 and now in the third argument of the filter function again i'm going to specify a value to get if there is no entry matching with my search value and here you can see i have got all the countries where the starting letters are u and n and now if i change it if i try to type something else let's say i n it shows me only countries where the starting two letters are i n and let me type something else let's say g g and r so when i type g and r i only have the country greece but if i go back to only g that is the only one letter i get germany and greece so this way whenever you type any letter or any or a name of the country it will only filter the data based on the starting letters of that country's name now it's time to understand how this formula works it looks little complicated but this formula is pretty simple and powerful so let me edit the formula for you so here first of all i have again the same source data in the first argument of the filter and in the second argument what i have is a left function a length function and a condition based on the value that we have in the cell c1 that is the value which we type in the text box so let me type something here let's say i let's say au and now let me edit the formula now when you type anything here let's say two letters the left and len the left function using the len function it returns first two characters from the entire column of the countries so when you type two letters in the text box so this part of the formula the left function and the len function returns the first two characters from all the names in the country column so let me show you how it works at the back end so you can see here i have an array where i have first two characters for all the country names and then we have this condition which is equals to c1 that means the value that i have here in the cell c1 so this condition tests the entire array against the value that we have here in the c1 that is the value we are typing in the text box so when i check this array you can see here so we have false and true but true is only for the countries where the name the first two letters of the name is au and using this array filter function returns data for all the countries where the name starts for a and u so if i go with let's say only a so data here changes now we have australia argentina and austria in this way whenever you type anything when you start typing anything it filters the data but only using the first letters of the country name and if you type something which is not there the the name doesn't start with that letter it will show you the value that we have defined in the formula for the empty data entries